Alright. Yo, what's up everybody? I don't know who's on here. Michael Bryson join. What's up? Oh, we got some joiners. What's up, Platinum Perry here? You know what I'm saying? Got the tiger shirt on. Got the squad with me. That's the Platinum Squad. What's up, everybody? Oh, some first one racist. That's how you hit me with. Hey, what up, Platinum? Way questions popping up. Look at all them hearts flying. Woo! I'm getting love. I appreciate it. I'm getting hate too. I appreciate that too. Oh, I got the got the Iron Mike Tyson hat. You know what I mean? What's up, everybody? What y'all want to see from me next, man? I got big things planned. Ask me some questions. Fight Conor McGregor. I, I would love to. Let's go. Let's get some questions. They're popping up so fast. How does the fight go down this weekend? First round knockout. I'm going to knock Juban out in the first round. Let me be specific and clarify for you. Who am I calling out next? You'll have to wait and see. I'm going to KO Juban first, and then I'll let y'all know what my plans are. Ronda Nunez prediction. I hope Ronda comes out, grabs Nunez, hip tosses her on her head, and grabs an arm bar in the first round and does what we all know she can do. Why did you switch from boxing to MMA? It's always been MMA. Um, I did a little bit of boxing to make my MMA better. And um, boxing is a very tough sport if you're going up against a guy who's been throwing his left and his right hand since he was a little kid. You know what I mean? Um, I box some tough boxers, and I still work with some great boxers. But uh, MMA is the way for me if I can fight a uh, boxer. Uh, that one boxer that beat me, uh, Kenneth McNeil, if he would step into the octagon with me, I would rip his limbs from his body. So uh, if he sees this and uh, wants to try, I'll gladly give him the chance if the UFC would. Call out, cowboy. What about Tony Ferguson versus Habib? Khabib? I don't know, man. Khabib. Khabib's good. Ferguson's good. That'd be a great fight. Man, Mickey Gall don't want none. Let's see if he can beat Sage Northcutt first, huh? What does the tattoo under my eye mean? It means Jesus Christ. That's what it means. Uncle Dana pulled the plug. McGregor Khabib, who wins? Khabib, I would say. I would say Khabib would just try to take him down unless McGregor could stop him, but... I don't know. Man, these questions are flying. I can't even catch them. Masvidal should be next. That's a good one. Smoking a bleasy for you, Mike. <laughs> Man, these questions are wild. Flying by, flying by. Wants to fight in January. I'm trying to get a question here. Nah, I don't want to fight at 155 ever again. I'll do a catch rate of like 160, 65. I don't know. That's, that's a hard weight for me to make. I get up to 200 pounds, so I don't need to cut weight to beat anybody up, really. I, I'll be fighting middleweight before long. Who knows? Appreciate that. I'm, a, I'm the most exciting new UFC fighter. I'm welterweight. That's my weight class. I own that weight class. Can you make 125? Yeah, sure. If you cut off my legs and my arm. What is your favorite food when not cutting? I love fried chicken and pasta. Um... Those would definitely be my favorites. Mac and cheese and 
cheeseburgers and stuff. Man, you got me thinking about food now, milkshakes. I'm starving. I'm ready to. I'm, re I'm ready for Friday to be here. I want to eat. KFC or Popeyes? KFC for me. I like KFC original recipe. It was so good. Mm. Can't even. Can't even think about that right now. Man. Yep, I'm going to ruin Alan Juban's modeling career. Why am I not the main event? Because I just got here, man. It's my third one. They, You know, I don't got the fan base. Not as many people know about me like they know about... Uh, uh, yeah, see, I can't even think of their names. But Paige Van Zandt and Karate Hottie, that's a good fight. I'm excited to see who wins that one. What you think about Nick Diaz? I don't What's there to think about him? I'll fight him if he wants to fight. Yes, I am going to call people out after I win. I got four names for y'all. Can you guess the four names that I'm going to call out? Because I won't let you know until after I win. Brother, <laughs> you guys ain't ready for my victory speech. Ugh. Connor would whoop you, bro. Yeah, whatever. Your mama, boy. Would you beat Connor McGregor's ass? Yeah, sure would. Put anybody in front of me, I'll whoop their ass. Why would I rematch with Lim? I smashed him in three and a half minutes. Which one would I... <laughs> Can't, neither one. I don't know who Bajir Hari is. I would fight Brock Lesnar. He's a big steroid freak. I'll kick him right in the nuts and poke him right in the eye. It's over. Your cousin want to get in that cage. Any advice? Yeah. Get in. Don't think about it. Just do it. Whatever you want to do in your life, do it. There's no no point in not. You know what I mean? It's Life is that simple. Whatever you want to do, make it happen. I'm a bum. But I got more money than you, son. Woo! I'm a bum making money. How you, how you make that happen? Would I fight Masvidal in a heartbeat? You sound fake. Oh, yeah. Whatever. I'm going to throw in a head kick out here, man. Somebody going to get this, get KO'd from a head kick from me. Somebody's going to get kicked in the face by me and they're going to sleep. Yeah, well, let's make it happen. Nate or Nick would work me, huh? Let's make it happen then. Hella haters in here. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I swear. Yeah, they can hate all they want, but I'm out here doing it. Where they at? Come and see me. It will end in decision. No, it will end when I end it. I will end it before 15 minutes. You get in that cage with me, boy. I got you for 15 minutes. You're going nowhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know where Paige is. I ain't seen her yet. Mike Tyson would mess me up. I mean, he's a little old now, but he is the man, though. I'll give it to him back in his day, boy. He was a dangerous man. Who am I? Platinum Mike Perry. I didn't know that I had to say that. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. Call out Woodley. Thoughts on black people. Love them. Most of them. Some of them. Thoughts on white people. Love them. Most of them. Some of them. Thoughts on anybody. I don't like anybody. Who cares? My team is where it's at do I drink platinum <laughs> I 
Man, uh, Orlando is very nice. Uh, you should come visit sometime. That's a great tourist location. They got Disney World and Islands of Adventure. Do you, I give an F? I got a pocket full of Fs, but I ain't got none for you. Uh, have you ever fixed my gas tank? Oh, you're talking about, you know, cardio. Well, check this out. If your opponent runs from you for three rounds straight, runs a couple miles in that ring, and you're constantly running after him, working him, let's see who doesn't get tired. I come to fight. I don't come to stand around. What is Juban's biggest threat? His left leg? That's it. That's all he's got. That's all he can use on me, and I'm not going to let him use it. That's honesty. Am I a former tow truck driver? Yeah, boy. Took your mama's car, repoed it. I would buy your bum contract. Connor would buy your home. If Connor wants to buy my house, I'll sell it to him. Dream fight and venue to have it in? Mm, I don't know. I want to fight. I don't know. I want to go to Italy. I want to fight over there. You're not in Connor's level. Connor's not in my size. He's not in my weight class. He's fought 170, but he don't get up there. He said it himself. To beat him, you got to have size. You got to have something. And I definitely got size on Connor. Yeah, whatever. He ain't fast enough either. I'm more of an athlete than he is. Yes, I am Mike Tyson, and I'm 4'11", and I'm a middleweight. Boy, uh, I love the hate, man. Y'all just keep on hating. There's like 100,000 haters in here, and there's like two fans, and I appreciate those two. I like small circles, man. All you haters can... Go put a hater hat on or something, man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, jeez, man. <sighs> oh, somebody said they love me. Did I go to college? Yeah, PU, Platinum University. School of Hard Knocks. I really did go to the School of Hard Knocks. That's where I boxed at. I boxed for the School of Hard Knocks in Apopka, Florida. Well, guess what, guys? That's all the time I have for you today. Um, peace.